Sir, I specifically wanted to talk to you about the electoral bonds. The last time we had a conversation about electoral bonds, uh, the SBI had not put out the unique serial numbers attached to you know, each of the electoral bonds. But this time that data is out. So after the unique serial numbers are you know, put out by SBI, uh, did you have a look at the uh, donors and receivers list and what is your uh, perception of the bigger picture here? Disheartening to me to see how greatly the system has been hijacked for the benefits of one party and its two leaders basically who seem to be controlling everything. And so, you know, in my own perception, the revelations are so, like, depressing. Till now, we used to talk about, are we, uh, is this election really a referendum on the future of democracy? Is this the election where we will save or we will see the collapse of India as we know it and Indian democracy as we know it? These revelations tell me that maybe it's already dead. Maybe what we are really here in this election is the wake. You know what a wake is? It's a ceremony in the Irish tradition where after somebody has died, everybody gets together to remember the good times and remember the, you know. So whether this election is actually a wake for a dead democracy is how bad this data is showing because it shows such extreme one-sidedness, such extreme quid pro quo, such blatant violation of level playing field of fairness that and and therefore the consequences of such dramatic loss to the exchequer everybody who's you know actually done something wrong suddenly goes over to the other side or pays money and then the state doesn't get the money they're supposed to get the state meaning the, the government so it, it's so depressing to me that i'm seriously wondering are we at the kind of knife's edge democracy saved or not? Are we really at the wake of the dead democracy at this point? And the only hope we have is like in the Periya Puranam, you know, Trinavakara sir uh, revives the son of his disciple who is bitten by a snake and, uh, and dies. You know, are we only left with the hope of resurrection uh, and we are really at the wake?